Well, you guys, if you're looking for a budget case for your next build, then let's take a look at the Kronos 650. It's a £40 case, $55. It's a budget mid tower ATX case, supports micro ATX and ITX, but you're not going to be putting that into this particular type of case. It does have a mesh front and the dimensions are 205 by 400 by 450 millimeters. It does have an acrylic side panel, which is a bit of a letdown but at £40 would you expect uh, for a budget case. On the top here we've got two USB ports. These are 2.0 USB and also you've got your headphone and, and microphone inputs. You've got your power button, you've got your reset button and you've got your activity light for your hard drive and your power on light and USB 3.0. Also have this uh, cover on the top here which is a mesh filter which has got magnetic strips on it. This is washable and basically this is to cover the top area where you would obviously mount your fans. Now you can either put 220 millimeter fans or 240 millimeter fans on the top and if you're using a radiator on here maximum would be 240 millimeters I would say for the top of the case. Now moving on to the front of the case we can have up to a 240 millimeter radiator or 280 millimeter radiator which supports 320 millimeter fans or 240 millimeter fans on the front now on the front here you can see it is a mesh front it doesn't have a removable dust filter which is a bit of a, a downfall really it means you have to remove the front and wash it in the sink but it is mesh on the front here and you can see uh, right through there so it will have good airflow and for 40 pounds it's not too bad good an air intake here at the bottom moving on to inside the case we do have a PSU basement which means you will be able to hide your PSU and uh, also we have this fan support here which supports up to 220 millimeter fans this will blow air over the graphics card and uh, the motherboard and stuff like that you can see here we do have two holes here which is for your cable management no grommets on this budget build radiator cut out at the front here which allows the radiator um, I've seen some people suggest 360 mil rad in here that would be a bit of a squeeze I reckon 280 mil is probably the max there along the front here we can have up to a GPU support of 395 millimeters which gives you the full length graphics card here and also moving on into other areas of the case you can see we do have a cutout for this CPU which supports up to 180 millimeters maximum so you should be okay there also it does come with one fan at the back which is 140 millimeter can be swapped out for 120 mil uh, fan also it does support 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter uh, rear uh, radiator so there is the top of inside the case here now you don't want to be coming down too far or too thick with the radiator and fans because you could end up uh, covering up these holes and coming onto the motherboard and causing yourself a lot of problems so check your dimensions and maybe just use fans up the top if that's going to be a problem also moving on to the areas here which you can mount uh, two ssd uh, in the back if you wanted to around the back of the uh, case I'll show you that in a second you've got these mounting points here for your support with your motherboards you've got these little holes for your fans so you can move them up and down this makes it easy to mount very nice little design there again you can swap these fans out for RGB fans if you wish if you want to go all RGB you've got your IO shield area here and also you've got seven expansion slots available on this case as well which are removable Moving on down to the PSU area here, pretty standard stuff. Got a couple of anti-vibration pads on there as well. Nice clearance here, a little bit of an impact on the bottom there during delivery. And that's due to probably the lower grade steel that they use in these cheaper cases. They do dent very easily, but I can push that out with uh, you know, a screwdriver and stuff, so I will do. On the bottom, it does have these chrome looking type feet with some anti-slip rubber pads on there which give it a little bit of a classier look. You've got your hard drive cage here. This is riveted, so you can't move it. It does come with these plastic hard drive cages here, which will take your 3.5 inch hard drives or 2.5 inch hard drives. And as I said, it is riveted, so you can't move this. But just be careful on the choice of PSU. You don't want to buy a too big a PSU and cause yourself uh, cable problems where it pushes up against these trays here. 
So having a look inside the back part of the case, you can see here there's a nice cutout here for cable management. So cable management options are pretty good. So you can tuck all your cables inside here. They will be seen from the other side unless you populate those SSD areas there. There is an, a little channel here where you can get a cable and tuck it up there if you need to hide cables. There's plenty of room for a cable in there and also goes down the back of there. So your CPU cable will be at a seat right inside here nice and easily it's a nice area for cable management there on the higher point here you can see it's about a finger width so you'd easy uh, get your cables to push there if you wanted to route them across there on the bottom you can see you do have a PSU filter and you can see those legs in all their glory it's just really sort of made to look like aluminium but it really is just like a bit of silver coloring on there but what do you expect for 40 pounds it is removable and washable but pretty much that's going to be about it for a 40 pounds case which is around about 50 to 55 dollars which does put this case into a very competitive area there's a lot of people looking for cheap budget cases and they want the best features for their money so what would you uh, like to see in this particular type of case in my personal opinion, I'd like to see a tempered glass side panel on here instead of acrylic uh, side panel. I think that does let the case down quite a bit. And of course, it does have that mesh front, which is nice. But if you like RGB, it doesn't come with any RGB fans. So that could also be a deal breaker for you. I think what you've got to realize at the end of the day is that this is a cheap budget case that costs £40. So you have to sort of weigh up the pros and the cons, what you expect from a case at that price point with that said do your research have a good look around and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos